Coach, good morning. How are you today? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Good. Uh, last night, Coach, right at the very end, I thought it was amazing that the couple that came up to say hi and had those amazing pieces of Syracuse memorabilia that they brought for you. Yeah, that Ernie Davis signed ball and uh, with, uh, the team they swept. Crazy. I mean, that was pretty cool just to be able to get that ball and those pitches. That was um, a special moment, to be honest with you. It's a special moment to uh, receive anything that was signed by Ernie Davis. It means a lot. Home and put it right on my uh, in my front room. I bet you did, and, you know, and that's just a, a moment not only because of what it is and because of Ernie Davis and obviously his uh, legacy, but the fact that those fans are following the program and they're longtime season ticket holders, obviously, but they felt that connection with you and the team to want to bring that to you and present it to you, I think is amazing. Yeah, I mean, I'm very thankful, man. Uh, and I'm just happy that I got a, I had an opportunity to get a piece of history, you know, uh, a sign ball, a game mm-hmm. ball that he played in. It was, um, I'm just honored. I'm very thankful, and um, yeah, I just could say God is good. Uh, well, that and also uh, before we talk about Cal, real quick here, congratulations to your son's Pop Warner team that won the Empire State uh, Championship. Yeah, that was pretty cool for him, man. He had a really good game. His team, uh, Coach Matty, the defensive staff, and Offensive side, those guys have been doing a great job the entire year. So I'm thankful that my son got a chance to come here his first year, be able to do that. And even in the championship game, he scored five touchdowns. Uh, it was pretty cool that he scored that many times. And he loves the team, enjoyed it, happy about him. And he can't wait to uh, play flag football with him this play. Your son had five touchdowns in the championship game? Yep, yep. He had five <laughs> touchdowns. He had a pick six, a couple big tackles, and he scored four times the offense. <laughs> Week before that, he scored three touchdowns in the uh, playoff game. They played against Camden to make it to the championship, and he beat those guys. So he's just been uh, – he's had a couple good weeks, man. In the last three weeks, uh, this kid scored – he scored 12 touchdowns in three weeks. So he's on a good <laughs> Wow. Job. That's impressive. Well, uh, congrats to him. And then uh, for you, uh, on your part, obviously, everybody's kind of a day ahead of time, the trip out west to take on Cal. And I know last night we talked uh, a bit about the Cal. And the very similar in the team makeup and the, in the way that uh, you guys, both teams, have played and that won and lost some of the games. Yeah, we're excited, man. I think both teams are similar. we uh, got a lot in common. We just finished out a few of the games that they weren't able to finish out. So it'll be a good game. They're probably going to the fourth quarter as ACC play does. Um, and just get real excited to go and compete against each other, man. Happy to go to that turf. See what it's like out here in Cali, man. Uh, I know one of the folks in the stream chat last night, uh, kind of tongue-in-cheek, but said hopefully when you guys fly back from Cal to Syracuse after the game on Saturday, you will be uh, washed and showered and smelling good. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, that's funny. They keep everybody talking about it. But we're just kind of focused. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I think hopefully we will, you know, have a lot of fun, though. That's it. Uh, well, Lisa made uh, a, 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 a bar of soap specifically for you that I can bring that to you. I me. did. <laughs> Lisa makes soap, so there's a special Coach Fran brand. It smells like a hot fudge sundae, Coach. So, because yeah. ice cream makes everybody happy. So. That's pretty cool. That's that's pretty straight. That's funny. That's good. They got some shirts called uh, One is Wash. So go look those up. Uh, grab a couple of those, too, while you're at it. I appreciate it, though, man. It's pretty cool. I'm excited. Thankful for this opportunity. Uh, we're just going to go have some fun, man, and enjoy this whole process of uh, getting ready for the game. Coach, uh, best of luck. Go Orange, and we'll update again next week. Be sure go Orange. Go Orange. Thanks, Coach. Head Coach uh, Fran Brown. Here with us uh, every normally on on uh, Fridays, but uh, obviously with the mm-hmm. travel day uh, headed out early. But uh, yeah, I'll bring in that that the soap, and I'll, I'll bring will. it to Coach Fran next week. And if I'm not mistaken, next week because there's a Thursday night basketball game, I believe next week the Heritage Hill show is also on Wednesday of next week. So if you're uh, making planning uh, pur- or for planning purposes, because there are only two more left. Next Wednesday, and I think the, the the last week, Thanksgiving week, it's a Tuesday night show. But uh, mm-hmm. just two shows remaining. And the game, uh, again, the game is this Saturday afternoon at uh, 3 o'clock 
There is a basketball game at 1. We're calling it Syracuse Saturday. Our game day coverage for both SU basketball and football starts at 11.30. Going right through the pregame of basketball, the game, pregame of football, the game, and to catch the action right here on the flagship station for SU uh, football and basketball, TK99 and TK105. Game day coverage brought to you by Burdick Toyota, Burdick Ford, Burdick Lexus, Burdick BMW, and the Marriott Syracuse Downtown.